Welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you one of the very popular perfume from Penhaligons from the Portraits collection. It's called The Tragedy of Lord George. I have here a little sample for it because I like to sample first and purchase later in case I like it or the perfume is um, fulfilling my expectations. The Tragedy of Lord George is a very popular perfume by Penhaligons. It is for men and was released in 2016. The scent is spicy woody and it's marketed by Puig. If you'd like to learn more about the scent, please stay tuned. I have here a sample from Spray Parfums Italy and I got this one uh, together with some other order from them. Um, the Tragedy of Lord George comes in this very special bottle with this stag, I think it's the name, and it's very particular. I didn't purchase so far a bottle of this one because this scent is a bit controversial and I want to share with you my opinions about it and uh, also I would like to hear what do you think about this scent. So I will spray a bit from this one on the, on the strip actually you know what i will spray it on the skin i will spray it directly on the skin this is um, very nice and almost simple scent as top notes will have brandy so it's a bit boozy in hard notes it will have a soapy nice note like almost shaving cream like tonka bean so this sweetness from the tonka bean together with the other ones somehow they are giving me the impression that i either shaved and i have some aftershave on my hand or it's like this uh, very nice high quality shaving foam that i have on on my hands and and in base notes you'll have this is very very manly very beautiful and this is a scent which uh, in my opinion is one of the best creations of Alberto Morillas, which is the perfumer for this scent. On the, on the website of Penhaligons, they are mentioning that Lord George, so the tragedy of Lord George, is the head of the portraits family. And they say that Lord George captures the traditional masculinity and sophistication with a dash of mystery. So I think the dash of mystery comes from the fact that this is a perfume which is extremely weak. That is probably what they mean by mystery. I, I think you know this very successful series from Netflix called Peaky Blinders. In my opinion, this is a scent which Thomas Shelby would wear because it has this raw masculinity into it. It is a nice, almost aftershave-like scent and it's very subtle, it's very understated. This is a scent for someone who doesn't want to show off, someone who will dress well. This is not a party scent, this is not a teenager scent. First of all, because it's very expensive, it's about 240 euro for 75 milliliter. And second of all, because it doesn't project too much, it's not very powerful. If you want something that will make you noticed when you go in a room or when you are somewhere uh, with friends or with colleagues, this is not the scent. This might be a romantic scent because uh, from close it's easy to smell and it's also very pleasant. It has this masculinity to it, like I said. This is one of the nicest creations of Alberto Morillas. Alberto Morillas being the perfumer who created Aqua di Gio at the toilette in the past, then the Profumo. He also created a lot of Gucci perfumes. He's a very good perfumer and a very talented perfumer, let's say. Uh, what I don't understand is why Penhaligons have decided to make this scent so weak because they are um, making also very strong scents like Sohan, like Alfetti, like Alfetti leather, like um, Sartorial. Yeah, so they know how to make powerful perfumes, but in here, I don't know. And I also wonder why they have decided to call this the tragedy of Lord George. Um, I must admit that this, this line, I got inspired from uh, Rob So Wait. Hello, my friend. Uh, he said, the only tragedy about this perfume is longevity and sillage. It doesn't have neither of them. So if you spray, I don't know, five, six, 10 times, you will have most likely some performance from it. But if you are spraying in the normal range, like two, three times on hand or clothes or so on, in two, three hours it's gone. Even if it's advertised as an eau de parfum, and you can also see that it has this nice color, greenish 
color. Um, for me, this seems more an eau de toilette, or even I would go so far to say that it seems an aftershave. So if this was an aftershave priced 40, 50 euro or dollars or pounds per 100 milliliter bottle in a normal bottle, this would have been awesome because it smells great. So as, as an aftershave, it would work perfectly with the smell and the performance and so on. But for about 240 euro, no, the price is too high for what it is. So unfortunately, I don't see any reason to recommend purchasing a bottle of this scent under these conditions. If you find it with a big discount, like uh, half the price somewhere in some sale, or if you find online some used bottles of someone who doesn't want this scent anymore and will take a loss just to sell them, then it's a good investment because it's a very pleasant smell. It will be understated and it will be for someone on the lines of uh, Thomas Shelby, like I said, someone who doesn't like to uh, show off. It's maybe silent, a bit introvert, let's say, he has a nice close to the body uh, scent and it's only used for maybe dates or if you go in the office and you don't want to offend the colleagues. I would rate this as an 8 out of 10 because it smells absolutely gorgeous. I like it very much. And so far I have not purchased a bottle of this one and I don't think I will. But like I said, if I would find a used bottle or like a sale for this scent, then I would like to have one into my collection and overspray and enjoy this beautiful, boozy, manly, sweet uh, shaving cream type of scent. So please let me know what you think about the tragedy of Lord George. If you have uh, tried it so far, if you have tested it so far, and I hope to see you soon on the channel again. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.